anyway. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in giving a warm welcome to our dear friend, retired Logan 837, recording secretary, Thomas Troy, as he leads us into grace. Thank you, Ricardo. Ladies and gentlemen, let's take a moment just to bow our head and say a little prayer of thanks. On this great night, let us pray a prayer that we learn from a good and wise member of our community, Rabbi Bernard Baskin, Rabbi Emeritus of Temple Anshi Shalom in heaven. Let us be thankful to the God of humankind for food in a world where many walk in hunger and for friends in a world where many walk alone and in a world that hungers for inspiration we are especially thankful to you our diligent and deserving scholarship recipients and to your beautiful and good mom and dad and the members of your family who have always been there for you. You make us proud and you give us hope. Amen. I would like to introduce a number of special guests that we have in attendance with us this evening. I promise that this will be short. Please hold your applause until we have it announced everyone. We have City of Hamilton Councilor for Ward 8, Jerry Whitehead. The honor. The Honorable Sophia Giovannitas, Minister Responsible for our Seniors and Minister of Revenue and Member of Provincial Parliament for Hamilton Mountain. David Christopherson, Member of Parliament for Hamilton Center. We'll hear from Jerry and Sophia shortly. And David. We have a group from Canadian Scholarship Trust, led by Joe Spagnoli, Vice President and Treasurer. This evening we are also pleased to have Rob McIsaac. President of Moab College. Rob served as our honorary co-chair and keynote speaker at last year's scholarship awards and we are honored that he's able to join us this evening. Thank you, Rob. We also have Dr. Robert O'Brien, recipient of the Professorship in Global Labor Studies from Enrico Henry Mencinel Professorship at McMaster University. From Brock University, we have Rico Matalin, Scholarship Officer, and Aaron House, Manager of Student Awards. From Niagara College, we have Kevin Hewitt, Chair of Technology Division. From the Hampton Western Catholic District School Board, we have Corrado Chapana, Superintendent, David Morrissey, Plant Controller, Angela Romano, Director of Human Resources. And from Niagara College District School Board, we welcome Robert Charlie. Superintendent of Education and Retired Director of Education, we have Angelo Dian. We also have Elda Heinrich, General Manager of the Hamilton District, Hamilton District Heavy Construction Association, also known as the Hand Association. Sean Strip, the Executive Director of Chair Construction Secretariat. Len Lifschutz. Chief Executive Officer of the United Way, Hamilton, Burlington. From the Union Movement, we have Tony DiMaria, Business Manager for Clare's Local One. Cosmo Manella, Director of the Unit Canadian Tri Funds. David Agostini, Administrator, Labor's Pension Fund of Central and Eastern Canada. And we also have the Retired Administrator, Gordon Agostini. We also have Manuel Andrade, Business Manager, Unit Local 1081. Cambridge, Paula Randazzo, Business Manager of the Union Local 1110, Ann Waller, Business Manager of the Union Local 3000. I'd also like to take the opportunity to thank the two ladies that put a tremendous amount of time and effort into ensuring a successful evening. Rose Sorge and Bo Sarah. Thank you very much, Rose. You guys did a great job. We have a few friends that would like to say a few words. First, from the city of Hamilton, we have Cherry Whitehead, Council Ward 8, to bring greetings on behalf of the city of Hamilton. We'd like to congratulate Councilor Whitehead on his strong re-election in the recent municipal election. 
Terry is also a previous scholarship committee member, and he knows firsthand how difficult the task is in selecting the selection process. Terry.